everybody, Lucifer here, and I'm back with Chain. So last time we did Torch and Miss Blanc. Now we have the participants and maybe emerge. So first of all, uh, let's see the log notes. Sorry, space to confirm, right? So, our team by Chief, okay. Let's read it. Unusual specimen needs two button input EX left and up to move the protagonist avatar. Dream captions denote by quotation marks are noteworthy. Speculate they have been grafted into the specimen at a later date. Okay, got it. Alternate, specimen was built around dream captions chronologically chronolo chronolo chronologically unknown. Jesus Christ, I can't even read. I mean, we established that ages ago, but still, I repeat it. Free protagonist avatar resembles character Blank from original game Blank. 1998, developed by Volvo Games. Test pending. Perform rigorous aging test to determine if specimen is in fact the original character. Volvo Games. Okay. Who developed Torch? I'm not. Man, you could build a game theory on, around this, but I'm not MatPat and I do not have that kind of an analytical mind. So let's just go with the participants. See you in the game. Okay, here we are. Now, I'm gonna say one thing. I already played for the game, but the recording got broken. So yeah, I needed to play with the settings a bit and I'm replaying it. But the parts that are in the title screen are the original parts, so yeah, those reactions are gonna be, at least, completely authentic. Now one thing I love about this third part of the game is that the controls are a bit different. If you just press one arrow key, you don't move, you need to hold two down. And I think that says in the file. So. Can know where I need to go. So let's see. Over here, we have Miss Blanc. I favored her very much. She may look dead, but in actuality, she is fighting through a mindscape of her own creation. Will she awaken from her test? Yeah, and I'm very much... I told her she won't need this torch, but I will pick it up though. Thing is, I believe I'm playing as a bad guy here. Because if you saw the last video, you'd know that this is the guy that let Miss Blank or Blanche, however, die. I managed to break down the boards with the torch. And here's a bit of a story. So, you're diving off the coast of Canada. It's as strange as you remember. It's cold and you're an idiot creature not designed for an ocean. I mean, okay, that's kind of rough, but mm, it's not wrong. You're just sort of floating along. And it's suddenly dark, you have a light, but 
you can barely see anything until the beam clips something close something huge and moving incredibly fast it's like standing next to a train as it rockets past and later you dream about it you're going about your day and you see it in the corner of your eye it's immense and so much faster than you remember you try to move but you just hang there floating waiting for it to finally take you and here we have this thing an ocean train or something oh and it ran away I kind of know where I need to go so I'm just gonna go there because last time I got quite a bit turned around in this game so I'm just gonna explore and show everything there is first of all is the TVs I need to check on the other participants so we have the ocean to the right where Miss Blanc is, we have the green thing in the middle and the red forest to the left. And the thing is that I cannot go in order because this thing is locked. So, since I can't go there, let's just go to number two. And if I'm not, yeah, another story. You don't really see them when you're well, but get sick or start to stumble and you'll find vultures of every kind, birds, dogs, other people just hovering at the horizon and waiting for you to finally sit down and give up. If you close your eyes, you can hear them inching closer and closer. It's like those stories you hear about old people dying in their apartment and their own cats eating them. Same thing, vultures. And here we have a vulture which definitely looks messed up. So human hands or something, I don't know what kind of leg those are. Smack it. Moving on. Here we have the candidate number two. This is where I left participant, participant number two. Where have they gone? I originally thought that he might have escaped, but I didn't realize this room was here, so yeah. And I thought that this room was kind of him fighting to the bitter end against those vultures, but then I ran into this. I think the shiny emblem belongs to participant too. and I see I hold up the emblem in wrapped in dreams participant 2 is drawn to it I see them flying high in the distance they'll be fine I mean the guy is high as a kite <laughs> weird joke and this 
honestly doesn't look fine. He looks like he's trying to get free. Okay, I know. And then here we have... Where did this come from? Does make you wonder. But anyways, I got a gun now. Which is not a good thing considering I'm playing as a bad guy. At least I see this man as a bad guy. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna say one thing. I do think that these effects are a bit too much. The edge of the screen ones, okay. They're cool. I'm not gonna lie, they are cool. But... The constant flickering... No, that, that, that's too much for me. Anyways, I won't have to worry about that lock anymore. So now... What you got for me, boy? Alright. Now what would happen if I don't pick up the... Well, I can't not pick up the... out which is kind of problematic because now I go this thing and this thing is a participant participant number one which is a bad thing because it shouldn't have killed a participant That's here. I killed a participant. So that's it. My backward masters will be phasing me out of existence. I feel it happening now. For some reason, my final thoughts turn to Miss Blanc. Has she woken up? And that's it. Okay! That took a bit longer than I thought and... The ending was... something. Um, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep this for another day. So yeah, I definitely think I was playing as a bad guy that time. Which, fair enough. Maybe we got something like uh, Mr. Smith was in Matrix, that would be nice. A uh, bad guy that became self-aware. But we gotta see. So yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today. Because I think 10 minutes is a fair for these kind of videos. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Yours to do and mine to hope for. And bye!